this is two two and a half days after the hurricane i'm actually really surprised that that the tides are almost like a normal high i came and looked yesterday just drove over here <laughs> all of the shoreline grass was covered in water and it's it's dropped back down to like a normal real high tide and being two and a half days after that hurricane quit I, I think maybe the fish ought to be getting back to normal and should be biting pretty good today I still haven't made anything happen out of this cove yet but I got a lot of confidence in it so I'm hitting it again it's got too it's got too much good looking structure points in it you got a point a point little ditch little ditch and then a bigger ditch that goes into a little small lake you got grass grass lines I mean everything about this spot looks real good yeah this should be a day where I can catch trout and reds in the same areas with the tides being so high the, the trout come in to the shoreline grass a lot something just chased bait off of that point over there I love points man Oh, he did. Oh, he got off. No, he's on there. <laughs> he keeps swimming towards me. I can't tell. I think it's a trout. Man, if it is, it's a good trout. No, it's a little red. <laughs> okay. I thought I hooked him real bad, but it, it was okay. Later, dude. I try to work each each side of a point, not just right up close to the point, but all around that point. Sometimes, whoa, geez, that was a. He was right on the point, too. <laughs> that was cool, man, even though I didn't catch him. <laughs> Be a lot cooler. I like it when they miss it like nine times and then you catch them. I've had a 22-inch trout do that. He popped it. He came out of the water. He popped it, and he came. And I was like, God, he just kept missing it. I finally got him. And once again, grass points. Grass points especially on a higher tide on a lower tide it'll be a little ways off of that grass point most of the time depending on how low it is was a good trout too golly <laughs> they're giving it hell all right all right we gotta go i gotta go to find some reds there, there should be some trout to play with too over there <laughs> we're already getting later in the morning why well, i say that it's, it's, i've been out here for about an hour that to me is 
should have I should have already found the redfish by now. I'm messing with these trout. I will find you. I will find you. That's a good looking corner over there too. Let's see. Let's go check out that shoreline grass on the corner and that little cove or, or bend. When I'm not seeing really any fish make a lot of commotion, I just keep hitting each little point. Any kind of bend, any kind of point. Not not just the point and the bend, but also in between, you know, what leads up to it. But I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry to get somewhere, so I'm just going to hit this point real quick. I'm not going to focus on that on that bend. Okay. Oh, he got off. It was a little trout. Here comes, an <clears throat> Here comes another point. I'm almost to the spot. But along the way, I have to work these. Each point. Just because I know fish hang out there. If I'm not seeing any activity, I'll hit each point, maybe five or six casts. I'll fan cast away from the point. If nothing happens, I just move on. Until I get to the, the areas that, that I know for sure normally holds fish, I'll, I'll just keep moving real fast. Even these small points like this right here, that, that's a real small point, but it's worth, it's worth trying. really just any kind of structure change you got a shoreline that looks pretty basic for a while and then all of a sudden it does something crazy <laughs> you, you got to try in that area whoa Golly. <laughs> man, that was a good trout too. There ain't no reds, man, but in my red spots, but there's some trout for some reason. I hadn't I'm not connecting none of them. I don't know why. I'm fixing to change that here in just a minute. Yeah, those potholes are all all in here, so. There ought to be something in here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good trout. Oh, my goodness, man. That's a good trout. Oh, please, please stay on. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is the biggest trout I've ever hooked in this bay. He was in the potholes, man. Golly, that's a nice one. Please stay on. <laughs> Come on, girl. There you go. I, I don't think I caught that strike on camera because I was looking at something. Man, that's a big trout, dude. Man, that's a nice trout. 
<laughs> it's been pretty tough morning, man. This is my first keeper fish to catch. Golly, man. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, buddy. Probably like 21, 22, let's we'll see. It's 21. Man, that's a nice trout. Yeah, you were in that pothole, wouldn't you? Just like I thought. Huh, buddy? <laughs> All right, let's get you in there. <laughs> See, even I've I've only fished this one one time. Even when I don't catch fish, I I, I know when the spot's pretty pretty good looking that's worth trying you know quite a few times he, he didn't he didn't blow up on it he just kind of came up and, and ate it there you go that was a redfish I've been hunting for reds all morning man <laughs> Golly, it's a good one, Tim. He's a good one. <laughs> I was starting to think the redfish hunt was over. <laughs> I come over here because I normally catch. Man, he's getting a lot of my line. Dude, that's a big one. Man, I can't even budge oh, Man, he's going way out there. This this is, I think, a bull. Man, my line's getting... I've never had one take that much line. And he's heavy. <laughs> Golly. Turn, dude. <laughs> I'm screwed. What, man? Golly, dude. Man. <laughs> I couldn't get I couldn't get to this side of the island, man. I, my rudder wouldn't turn sharp enough. Man, he took a lot of line. And then he started going around that island. I, 
I knew I was fixing to be in trouble, so I pulled the anchor up and Man, that was a fight right there, boy. <laughs> My kayak didn't turn real sharp. I don't know. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to get around that island or not, but I did. That's a bull red, all right. <laughs> yeah, I got you, big old boy, didn't I? Golly, that's a big one. Yeah, swim on this side. I like to land them on this side. Man, dude. Golly. <laughs> Son of a gun. <sighs> Man, that was a fight right there, dude. I've never, I haven't had a red take that much line. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Man, that was a crazy fight, dude. Oh, you almost got my foot, man. If you be hooking me, I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, buddy. He's probably, probably about 30. Let's see. I finally found me a red, man. Ooh. Yeah, he's almost 31. Been all morning, man. Right there. You've been right there all morning, man. <laughs> all right, buddy. I appreciate you, man. You gave me a hell of a fight, man. Didn't you? Trying all that tricky stuff going around the island. Huh? He had me looking pretty empty on the spool. But getting close to it, anyway. Yeah, he's okay. There he goes. Yeah. Later, man. <laughs> yeah. Golly, dude, that was a hard fight, man. Uh, <sighs> man. I seen him coming out of the water, man. I said, oh, here we go, redfish. And I wasn't real sure if he had it just, just yet. So I waited a split second. And I felt a little something, something different. So I went ahead and set the hook. Those redfish are hard to tell, man. For sure if they're on, but the way he came out of the water, and those big ones, those big ones, they normally, they normally get that topwater lure. When they hit it, they, they get it that first time. the bull reds I mean all the bull reds I've caught on top water it was just a one hit boom I mean they had it every time the slot reds it's a little different sometimes thirty one inch red twenty one inch trout I can't say it's been a tear them up type of day, but it's, I mean, they've been spread out. But it's, I've caught two really nice fish, so I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that, with this, with this day. <laughs> it's probably about 11 o'clock. If these clouds weren't here, I wouldn't still be, I, I wouldn't still be fishing. definitely wouldn't still be fishing with a top water this late in the morning boy that dude had me in <laughs> he had me in a bind man <laughs> man yeah sometimes it's sometimes it's a tough bite but 
if I can work, if I can work, keep working for a few good ones, man, that, that's okay. Because other times I, I mean, I wear them out early, early. And other times they wear me out trying to find them. <laughs> so that, that point isn't the same kind of points that I was talking about earlier the shoreline grass points but that's still a point and that red was right off of that point not very far off of it any kind of points any kind of marsh drains any kind of grass that pops up all of a sudden on a shoreline when there wasn't any grass for a while those are all good good areas to try in any any and every bay has shoreline grass and points and they don't all have marsh drains but but they have potholes and the potholes over here are a little a little bit different than your typical because it's mud it's not a sand grass pothole like in a clear bay uh, clear water but the potholes here they they hold fish too the shoreline grass is, is even better on a higher tide. As long as there's about eight inches of water around that shoreline grass, those trout will go in there too, the bigger trout. On a lower tide, they can't get in, in that grass, but they'll usually be pretty close by though just off of those those points and shoreline grass so come and dream like a child.